he resigned as a minister because he recognized that the Lebanese politics cannot be changed, perhaps. Um, why is it so hard to change the country's uh, politics? We have a huge issue with the system. Our political system, our constitutional system, it is not working. Honestly, it is not working. I am one of those who were sitting at the uh, Council of Ministers uh, meeting, uh, and I felt to what extent sometimes you are weakened just because you don't belong to a political group. I've seen what you're talking about at the university level, where in the elections, the people with no one, like me, for example, they were not like, uh, they were attacked by the, the other parties because they did not want to vote, uh, they did not they did not want to participate as, you know, one of the parties. I, it's too bad to see yeah, this even yeah. at... Amar, let me, let me uh, if I may, tell you that you're, you're not no one. I mean, you're, you don't belong to a structure, you don't belong to a political group. And therefore, you feel that you don't belong anywhere and that you don't exist. If all those who think like you do are able to gather in a structure, they will be stronger. And that's what, what, uh, what is lacking. We don't have structure, any structure, to absorb uh, those who are like you, Amar. Uh, they feel that they don't belong here or there. What would you tell me, for example, if I, if I say that I'm planning to immigrate? I wouldn't. I'll tell you why. Because I, I believe in freedom of choice. Many Lebanese people would like to go abroad to study. And studying abroad is an excellent um, experience. I really get worried when I feel that people, and especially young people, are leaving the country, not because they, they cannot find a job here, not because they cannot study here, but most, mostly because they don't feel that they belong here anymore in their mind, in their culture, in the, in the way they, they see things. And that's what's, what, what we need to, to address. That's what we need to, to change, because this is what really worries me. Do you think when our generation grows up and will be able and provides uh, uh, leaders, will it be able to change this country? If you keep uh, addressing the issues the same way we and the oldest uh, addressed, no change will happen. Because we're, in a way, dealing with everything in a traditional manner. And what you need is a shock. You need to make things different, to do things differently. You need to take them somewhere where they are not, where it's not their field. Take them to alternatives. Take them to challenge them somewhere where they, they, they don't feel comfortable. I think that young people should start by saying no. You know, when, when you say no, this is a, a good thing to start with. When you start saying, I, I don't agree. When you start saying, this is not how I see it. This, is, this should be the first step. The second step would be, that's not how, how I see it, but that's how I see it. I mean, to propose an alternative. Because young people are able to propose alternatives. When um, a friend of mine in school died in a bomb, Hamad Shah, I think you've heard of him. Of course, yeah. Yeah, um, we, we had all this anger and all this, we had, we had, we felt like we had potential to make a change, but we didn't really know what to do. And what do you think, what do you advise youth to do in, in cases where they feel like they want to, do, to want to make a change and they feel like they can, but they don't know specifically what to do? Rida, I, I followed closely what you did from Hamad Shahar. And I think that you did very well. Uh, don't blame yourself for not doing, because you did the utmost. I don't think you could have done better. Now, what is missing is the following. What did the country do for Hamad Shah? Uh, what would the country do for others who are paying the price of bad policies and of the fact that we have a failed state in a way? That's, that's the question. I, I cannot understand sometimes how people accept to be, to be uh, ruled by people they don't trust. Speaking of the young, a great person once said, who he bets on the young doesn't lose. What do you think of this quote and uh, why? 
Well, um, I think that uh, you should give me the address of the betting house to, uh, <laughs> because I'm, uh, I'm on.